Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the build log part 5, I believe, of my water cooling journey. It is taking longer than expected to get this thing done. My apologies, we ran into some hiccups. So anyways, um, let's try and get a lot of stuff done this episode. So I'm not going to even edit this video until I have at least the tubing done. Because I know a lot of you guys are upset because I only do like a few things per episode. So anyways, I'm done rambling. Let's go ahead and start. Alright, so I got the new radiator in. As you can see, it actually doesn't have a piece of the radiator sticking out or slanting out. So if I put this on top and match the holes, we are good. As you can see, nothing is sticking out, so that is perfect. And also a lot of you guys were saying to, or telling me to swap the radiators. So basically you wanted the 240 on top and you wanted the 360 on the side. Trust me guys, I did that. It does not work that way. In fact, that way is actually a lot worse. So you got to give me some credit. So believe me, I tried everything to make it work. So now that we got the new radiator in, let's go ahead and put this on the bracket. And finally move on to the tubing. How long has it been? Holy hell, guys. I am so sorry. <laughs> I, don't even know if, I don't even know if I am sorry because it's not like it was my fault, you know. Uh, I think it's been two months since we started this freaking build and here's a real story, guys. I was waiting on a few parts. Part one was the cable, which I got two weeks ago. Let me... Uh, so the cables that were sent to me were for the wrong power supply, so that I didn't want to touch, I didn't want to continue the build unless I got the cables. That's, that's just OCD problems, that's just me. I didn't want to, I didn't want to pro prog progress, progress with the build without the right cables. The second issue was that the pump bracket did not align with the holes on the bottom of the case. So that 
plus the cable issue just you know what it, it, I lost the motivation so I put it to the side and I was waiting for the cables to arrive and it did it came two weeks ago but at that time I already had so many projects lined up that I just had to push this entire build to the side and work on the most important ones because uh, there was some sponsored content and stuff that I had to get out this is not obviously you know 100% sponsored so this is kind of like a side project I'm doing but anyways the we have to drill some holes on the bottom as you guys can see this freaking thing can focus so there you go the four screws on there were drilled in so now they align with the holes on the bottom of the case because literally that's the only place I can mount the pump that's it there's no other place unless I go with maybe one radiator but I don't know whatever whatever the point is it's been done let's just move on with the build I'm sorry I dragged this, lo uh, this long guys but hopefully I can bring you more videos and I'll try and do a lot in this episode instead of just putting on a few things and then calling it a day so so before I start plugging things in I have to figure out the looping pattern which I kind of have a good idea about but the only thing that's really bothering me right now is that radiator in the back the reservoir once it's filled and the pump is just it's I don't know it looks it looks weird I feel like there's really no purpose for this to even be there and then I could have some space with this and I could actually put it against that um, uh, yeah, I don't know guys. I, I don't know. And I'm just dropping stuff now. But I might just remove this to be honest. I don't know, I think it's a little overkill. So yeah, looping wise, um, so obviously in to the GPU blocks down here to the pump, from the pump to the radiator and radiator to the top of the CPU here. Assuming that I'm not going to use this radiator, but... I don't know, I honestly don't think I need it, and it just seems too cramped right now. Stop texting me, Jesus. Um, so yeah, that's, it just looks cramped, to be honest. Especially with the tubing everywhere, and the cables, it's gonna look really, really cramped, guys. I think, uh, you know what? I talked myself out of it. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this thing. There you go, much better. Well, now it just looks like it's an empty space back there. <laughs> I, I just can't win, I swear. Alright guys, so this is what I have so far, finally connected all the cables, reservoir and pump is in place, all the fans are there, and cable management looks disastrous, if that's even a word. I'm going to work on this next episode, right now it's uh, really late and I'm getting extremely tired, but hopefully this will keep you guys busy until then, and no, it's not going to take a few months for the next episode, I promise. Uh, next episode we can do the tubing fill in the liquid and I think that's pretty much it and then the build will be done so maybe one maximum two more parts and then you guys will have the finale for sure but um, yeah 
Can you imagine what's going to be fun in the next episode? That's for sure. But actually, you know what, guys? I can go ahead and put on the fittings, and then we can go ahead and end the episode. So let's go ahead and do that. So yeah guys, this is what I'm gonna end the video. I uh, did a lot today. It's looking very clean. I'm loving the way it's turning out. Uh, couldn't be more happier. But uh, the tubing is gonna be the hardest part, of course. And then afterwards, pour in the liquid and we are pretty much done. And yeah, so there's my first water cooled build. So we got the intake over there, sucking in, or I should say blowing in cold air inside the case and then you got exhaust on the top blowing out warm air so that's the configuration I went with and I'm actually really happy that I went with the fans over there on that side instead of just leaving it empty um, kind of makes the case look a lot better or the build look a lot better instead of having like an empty section up there I can uh, sleep better at night <laughs> knowing that but anyways, let me know what you guys think about the build so far. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, what you like, what you don't like. Uh, I would say the only thing I don't like about this build are the GPU blocks. It's just, I don't know, blocks of black, rectangular. Uh, it is just kind of take away from the rest of the build, but just my opinion. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to apologize again for the delay in the project Electro Box. <sighs> I ran into some problems. That's one of the reasons why I pushed it to the side. It's not, it wasn't done on purpose, but anyways, I, I'll see you guys in a few months. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't expect the next part to be like next day, guys. It's going to be a few days, maybe a week for the next part, but it's not going to be a month. That's for sure. Anyways, if you enjoy the series, leave a like. If you hate it and you hate me, feel free to dislike, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.